I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video vlog. Today I am joined by the Vibram Open Distance Champion, Garrett Gerthy, Double G. How you doing tonight, buddy? Man, I'm doing good. Feels great to have another victory as a distance champion. Uh, so you threw how far? 738, they told me. 738. That's not bad. I have no problems reaching 738, usually in two throws. <laughs> uh, so 738, downhill. We're, we're, we're not going to negate it because it was downhill. How far do you think that would be on flat ground? Uh, somewhere around 690. Okay. You know, I, Down 18 feet. I, I, can, I can get 690, you know, recorded. I've had it already. So uh, I think I'm pushing towards the 700s now these days. That's all right. So uh, what are you throwing when you're going for max distance? What are you throwing out there? Um, usually in long distance competitions, I'll throw uh, the pro destroyers. But here I flew in. I didn't really get to bring what I wanted to bring. So Phil Arthur, Fiddles, Fiddles. Um, he let me use these nice Echo Star destroyers. They work great. Um, took me the fifth throw to get it there where I wanted it. So it worked out. Thanks, Fiddles. Fiddles, big shout out there. We interviewed Phil. Phil had a pretty amazing uh, run. He was over at the World Championships. Not too often you see a guy win Masters and then go back into the Open Division. Uh, that was a pretty uh, big call on his part. I respect that a lot. Uh, players that can actually do that and know they can keep up with the pro division, I respect them the most, you know. They come out and try to give it their valuable effort, just like we do. <laughs> Absolutely. So, let's talk a little bit about what's going on here this weekend. How are you sitting and where are you at here at the uh, the regular golf competition? Uh, the first round I shot a 58. I uh, had one trouble out there on hole 12, took a 7. Okay. Uh, yep. Could have laid up, took my medicine, got out of there with a, with a 5. But I tried to go for the green. So, uh, you know, that's what happens whenever you go for risk-reward. Uh, second round, I shot a 59. Okay. I started off the front nine not too good, and then uh, right there in the middle, I just hung strong and uh, birdied a couple and um, took, took advantage of the long holes out there. Speaking of the long holes, obviously the distance competition here and all over the country, you're definitely known for your long distance. Is there anything we like to do, kind of, some kind of a tip from the pros or any kind of segment here where you could tell players, give them a tip or a pointer? And we have everyone that's been playing for only a few weeks up to 20 years that are watching these blogs. Give everyone at home a, a tip or two if they're trying to throw big distance. Well, I like to tell everybody that it's, it's a good part of uh, transfer of body weight, moving your hips behind you into the disc, making it one. It's hard to understand, but if you get your body weight behind the disc and you make it for your arm, ex extend your arm instead of curling your arm, that's a big help too. Okay. You know, when you're pulling it back like this, curling your arm, you're not going to get that much more. So whenever you extend back here, you got all this distance. Well, we always like to say in some of the best forms, whether it's in photos or in videos, when you're extending that arm as you were just doing, mm -hmm. it should almost feel like somebody is pulling the disc Correct. away from you. That's how you're going to get full extension. You want your arm to be completely flat before you pull it, rip it across your right. chest. You're going to get your maximum amount of distance that way. All right, and another tip that will go along with that is when you're throwing a distance shot here in a competition versus throwing a golf shot, tell everybody how those are still two different things. Well, I don't take an extra hop on the tee pad, therefore you have a little <laughs> more accuracy on the, on the tee during the golf round. Um, or nor do you probably throw 360s ever off of a I golf tee? I never throw 360s <laughs> on the golf tee or for distance. Okay. I think they're for weenies. Oh, but. wow. So he's calling out everybody else that throws. Yeah. Three. I'm not even going to go there again. These guys are throwing twice as far as I am. <laughs> Any other tips? You play down in Florida. Why don't you give everyone at home your top two or three courses in Florida if they get out to Florida to play? Uh, give them a course or two they should first stop First one at. I would go to is Cliff Stevens Park. Uh, they're in around the Tampa area. Um, another good one, short technical course in Clearwater, Tampa is Coachman Park. And then also uh, Barnett Park in uh, Orlando, they have a good course. They have a couple courses connected out there. Awesome. And one more would be the Players' Cup course, uh, Pine Oaks in Ocala. So Awesome. It's one of my favorites. All right. Well, you're hearing it from the distance champion. He's shooting well out here at the Vibram Open, having a good time. He's been touring all around, shooting well. Double G, we wish you the best of luck the rest of the weekend. Thanks, Terry. Uh, we hope that uh, tomorrow goes as, as well as it has these past two days. Get yourself uh, some more of those national tour points. Yep. And uh, we'll probably run into you again, probably, what, at the USDGC? I'll be there. He'll be there. Well, that's all we have here from the Vibram Open 2010. This is Double G. This is the Disc Golf Guy coming at you. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow. End of a champion disc. That's what he said. <laughs>